Hello friends, welcome to channel 11. Today I am going to give some idea about common table expression. It is introduced in 2005. The definition it is saying that specifying specifies a temporary named result set. So known as a common table expression. It is a replace of uh, temp it is a good feature in place of uh, temporary tables. So better uh, use this in place of uh, temporary tables. So uh, so one more uh, information is this is derived from the simple query and defined within the execution scope of a single select insert update or delete statement. So always CTE is followed CTE followed by either select or insert update or delete. So uh, this is the one of the def uh, definitions we need to follow. And one more thing, this class can also be used in create new statement as part of its defining self statement. So this is also we can use create new statement as part of its self statement it is. And one more thing, a common table expression can include reference itself. Meaning, so we, we can use a recursive uh, uh, situation, we can use common table expression. So so on the whole it is a temporary named result set followed by the select insert and update till statement so in between a cte and select if you add any statement it is going to give the compilation error so cte will always follows single select insert update and delete statement now i am going to give some syntax how it look like so this is the syntax it is it should start with the width and expression name it can be any name and the column names you want to return from what is the desired column names here you need to declare and come uh, CTE query definition it is this is the select query we want some temporary result set those uh, uh, those information we need to uh, define here select star from and if you want to give some specific columns you have to you can mention here select column name from the table name so there is one more uh, rule is uh, an optional rule is the list of column names is optional only if the distinct names for all the result columns are supplied in the query definition. So if we, the results are distinct in select query so you no need to mention the column names here. So that is one, uh, one definition. So after uh, creating common table expression we need to uh, ex uh, uh, right, execute using the select columns list from the uh, CTE expression name. So this is the syntax. Now I am going to give some simple demo how we, we will use CTE in place of uh, CTE while recursive situation. Here this is the uh, uh, so this is the requirement. So following requirements, I am going to give the hierarchy list of managers and the employees who reports to them. So this is the requirement I am going to use for CTE. So who is the manager respective employees? So this is the table I am going to I am creating right now. So I am naming, I named as a my employees. So this employee ID, first name, title, department ID, manager and ID. This employee ID is the primary key. This is my table definition. And I am going to insert the following values. So I, let me go and execute this. So my table got created with input details. Let me go and is, uh, give the select statement what is the how it look like data look like select start from so this is the my uh, my result set uh, so this is uh, we have one employee name is Ken and title as chief executive officer he is from 16th department but uh, uh, a manager is null means he is the topmost uh, uh, many uh, topmost employee 
top most officer so that is the reason it's null and let's go for employee id 16 david he is the marketing manager his manager 273 so 273 is vice president so for him the manager is 273 so 273 is vice president for his manager is one means ken chief executive officer is the ken so so in uh, so if you want to know uh, list of uh, means list of managers and the employees who report into that manager if you want to identify so we have to go for the recursive recursive statement uh, statement here so using ct how we are going to develop that i'm going to give the demo right now Thank you.